Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to create login form in Azure RP9. Okay, so now let's get started. And this is the Azure project we are working on. And today, day two, I will create a new file, a new page here. I click on plus button to add a new page. Okay, I will name it uh, login. Okay, I double click on this one to open the, the design page. Okay, and here the login page, I will going to create the username and password. And when the user click on a button login, if the password is blank or the user enter incorrect username or password, we will display a error message. Otherwise, it will direct the user to the home page if the password and username is correct. Okay, so now here, let us start the follow step. I will show demonstration for you. Okay, and here I will create the label and the text. I will type in the search box in library label. Okay. Okay. And I have take box. Take view. Take view. And I need a button. Okay. Okay. So here I right click on the label and select the edit text. Okay. I will enter the name is either username and do the same way right click on the label here edit text and enter the password okay okay so here, the text box, I will make it smaller. Okay. Button. Smaller. Edit text. It will be login. Okay. So here, I will enter the text field for this one. I will enter a name for username. Txt username and the password. We do the same. Txt password. Okay. And I will move into the style tab here. Okay. Scroll down. Or you can right click on this one and we have tune tip. Or you can change the input type. We have some type text, password, email, number. For the username, I will select it is text. Okay. And by default, it should be text. For the password, I right click on this one. Input type will be the password. Okay. For the username here, I have a text field and I click on manage with this style. Yeah. You can also change the fin color, the phone typeface, phone size, phone color, blah blah here. We have a lot of configuration for the text field. Okay. Close this one. Okay. And for the login, when the user click, okay, no, no, no. I will do it later and I need to have an a label <coughs> here I will edit the text here invalid username or password Please try again. Okay. 
so here I will enter this one e login error message okay I will change the color to red okay and by default I will hide hide this text and I right click on this one and set hidden hidden okay so here for the login I will click on interaction and I click on new interaction button okay we, I, I'm, I'm going to add an event for the mouse when the user click on login it will be the click or tap okay so here I will select the open a link so if the user enter the correct username and password I will direct the user to the home page okay and I have more option here click on this one it will open in current window or you you can even change it to the new window tab pop-up window parent window and I will select the default option in current window click on OK button here okay I will click on enable cases okay this is the first one it will I, I'm going to have to add a okay, case number one if the user enter the password uh, is the admin uh, is the username is admin and password is admin as well I will direct user to home page okay so here I have a take on with this and in the drop down, the drop down here I will select the username so equal take it could be the value no no equal the take on with this oh, no no let me see if take on equal okay it will be the take and i have a uh, admin do the same thing for the password take on with this and the the, the password and admin okay so here you see in the case number one if the take on the, the username equal admin and take on DHT password equal admin it will open a link in the home page okay cool so now here I will add another K K number two I will add a logic by, by default it will have L if E2 so now here I click on the insert action here this is the action of the K number two okay I will select so or high with this action okay I will select the login arrow message label and it will be so okay we have some animate here fade in fade out slide right blah blah here but here I will select in none I click on ok button here so now here I have not finished configuration configuration for the for some event of the login button. In the K1, if the user enter the password e admin and the username e admin, we will open the home page. As a Y, we we will show the error message. Okay. I will enter the text for this one. It will be the BTN login. Okay. I save it up and now I click on preview button here yeah. so here it will open the uh, login page in the first case I will left this one the blank and go in the head to click on login button here yeah so the when I click on the login button because the username and password is blank so it will be navigate user to the k number two and the error message will be displaying okay 
So now here, if I'm going to enter the username admin, or uh, I will enter incorrect password, the message will be also displayed. Okay, let me try to refresh this one. Enter the admin, incorrect password, log in. Yeah, the message will be displaying. So now here, if I enter the password is admin, and then I click on login button here. It will direct me to the home page. Okay. I close this one. Yeah. It seems working fine for now. And here, I click on the username text box. In, in the interaction tab here, I have a hint. Click on this one, take in Hintech. I will select the Hintech here, enter the Hintech here. It will be the enter the username. And the high after is focus. Okay. I can also put it in the tune tip. Okay. Enter and the password we do the same thing. Make this one bigger. Hint like enter the password. It high up the focus. Copy this one. Enter. Done. Okay. So now here I run it again. Yeah. So here you see we have uh, some hint text in the in the text box and terms of username and when I hover to the text box here it will also display in the tune tip in the right in the in the black with the black uh, background is uh, black and text is white. Okay. The so same thing for the password. I mean wrong Okay, and admin. Okay, good. It looking fine for now. And I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to create a login button, uh, create a login form for the web page. And we also know how to set some the event for the login when you click on the login button. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye, and see you later.